Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about Keyboot. It's a very lovely tool that can help you rewrite whatever you want. It's got the paraphrasing tool, it's got grammar checker, and they got para, uh, plagiarism checker, and they got co-write, summarizing, citation generator, and many features you can download their extension on google chrome so this is the free version the only thing you can do when it's come to paraphrasing you can only do the standard and the fluency if you want to do formal simple creative expanded or shortened you need to pay for it okay so i'm gonna show you the paid version, this is this is the paid version. What you can do, you can do a lot of things with it. You got standard, fluence, formal, simple, creative, expanded, certain. Okay. So I'm gonna show you this paraphrasing with the standard, how it looks like. If I paste this text, I'm gonna see paraphrase. As you can see, it has changed. It's so even down here below. This means change head word and structural change. It's gonna be this one here with the underline yellow. And they say they say long unchanged word. This is down below. Okay. And then if we go to Formal, as you said, you cannot use it. So let me show you. I'm going to do the same text. So with the premium, I'm going to try to use formal. I'm going to ask it to paraphrase it for me. As you can see, it's different from the standard version let me do this okay as you can see this is the standard what it paraphrase this text and this is the formal of the text you can see the difference okay you can pause the video and then read it so i'm gonna do the same paraphrasing i'm gonna do simple take simple this is how it look like with the simple, okay? But on the free version, I cannot use this tool, okay? Yeah, so let's try creative. I'm going to click creative. You can see, look. So from here, you can change those words by clicking on it, okay? professional around the world you can see you can change it studio and professional okay you can also change this any word you want okay so i'm gonna do expand as you can see i've got 18 words after i paraphrase it using expand we got 25 words okay Sorry for my English if you don't understand properly. And then if I say shorten it. And then it did shorten it from 18 words to 80. Okay. So this is what it does for the paraphrase inside. Okay. The other thing you can do with skill boot is to do grammar check. Okay. As you can see here. And then you can also do plagiarism check. On the free version, you cannot check plagiarism. Okay, you're gonna have to pay for it. Okay. So now on the plagiarism checker, the, I think they only allocate 20 pages for you, I think per month. And then if you need more, you're gonna have to pay for it. You can buy more pages like 24 pages this is what it cost seven us dollar and 100 pages 
24, 250 is going to cost you $50. Okay? So, but I'm not going to pay for nothing. I'm just going to use this one. Actually, I'm not using it too much. So, I bought the premium version. Okay? As you can see here. And then, I'm going to put a link in the description where you can access Qboot to process it directly on their website. Okay? And they got also what they call co-write. Okay? I didn't use this thing too much. This is what it does. Co-writer. And you can also... I don't know if... Uh, co-write is it's also on the free version or oh, you need to sign in I think you can use go right on the free version of Killboot okay and then they got summarize they got citation generator and many other features so so far I'm definitely happy with Killboot they got definitely very helpful tools, but most of the time I'm using this keyboard for paraphrasing, okay? So the other thing you can do with keyboard is to compare uh, those paraphrasing, okay? So what you can do is just to click on this corner here, okay? And you click on this corner, you come compare model, just click here. Okay, so from here, it's going to show you what we did here, all the paraphrasing. They're going to show you the, this is the original sentence, as you can see here. And then they're going to show you the standard. Okay, this is the standard of the text. It's the output. And then this is the output for Fluence. Okay, you can select it and then copy it. Okay, and then you, they got the formal down here. And they got the sample, and then they got the creative, they got the expanded, and they got the sorting. So from here, you can choose which one you like from the, summer, the, the paraphrasing or rewriting they did for you. Okay? As you can see. If you don't want to use the compare mode, you can close it and then come back here. And then use it one by one, one by one, okay? And then if you want to use the compare mode, you just click here on this corner. And then you click. They even give you the analytics, okay? Okay, they give you all the analytics. So you can come to compare. And then you do whatever you want. And, and remember, they also got um, an app for Android. I believe also for iOS, you can download it. But I only got one concern with the Android app. When you paste a text, you copy a text and then you paste it to do a paraphrase, they're going to tell you to enter a text to do the paraphrase. But it, even true, there's a text, I already paste the text, but they're going to still ask you to enter a text to paraphrase. So what you have to do is just to type a small word and then remove it, and then you will be able to do the paraphrase. Okay, my only concern is keyboard. They only got these three languages here. Okay, they got American, English, British, and Australian. But you can paraphrase on almost any language. Let's say I'm going to copy a French text. I'm going to copy this text. It's in French. I'm going to paste it here. Okay. So I'm going to try to paraphrase this text from French. And then see what can happen. Let's say simple. It's 
see, it didn't paraphrase it. Strike, creative. Okay. It did paraphrase it on creative. At the same time, they did translate it, as you can see here. Okay. Let's try simple again. Why he doesn't want? It's not working. Let's say formal from French. It didn't do nothing expand paraphrase see certain so certain it did paraphrase it from French to English so for some reason on expand it's not paraphrasing it creative Creative is also paraphrasing it. Simple. No. Formal. So as you can see, it also paraphrases this one from French to English. Okay. I, I believe it does support Portuguese also. I know Spanish definitely. It does support Spanish. Okay. I hope this video will help someone who is in need. Please don't forget to like it and subscribe. Ciao.